In this video, we're going to talk about calculating the required airflow volume to achieve a desired concentration when the contamination rate is known. It's a real simple formula, real simple process, but it only, only should be used if we have a gas leaking. If we have vapors resulting from evaporation, this is not the correct formula. Because when you have evaporation occurring, you need to consider the molecular weight and some other information, specific gravity, for example, of the substance that's producing the vapor. And this is just when there's a gas leaking. Uh, go ahead and look at a, at a problem here. A large freezer has been leaking Freon at the rate of 60 cubic feet per day. What is the dilution volume necessary to reach Freon's TLV of 120 parts per million? And here's the simple formula that we use to calculate the airflow. Again, Q is airflow volume. Uh, 10 to the sixth power is a constant. A TLV is the threshold limit value, the desired concentration of contaminant. You know, C could be used, or it could be PEL. Again, you don't have to use TLV. You don't. You could. You could use the action level. Uh, whatever your desired concentration of the contaminant is, is what you can what you can use in the formula. G is the contamination rate, the rate that the contaminant is entering the space. Um, there, again, simple process. We do need to convert time uh, to minutes. We have one day, which is 24 hours, and 24 times 60, we have 1,440 minutes. Uh, then we calculate G, our contamination rate. That's going to be 60 cubic feet per 1440 minutes our contamination rate is 0 0.0417 we have everything we need now just to put into the formula our contamination rate which we calculated is 0 0.0417 again that's g the tlv or the concentration level that we're shooting for is 120 parts per million and 10 to the sixth power is a constant again 10 to the sixth power is the scientific notation form for 1 million. You could use 1 million there, but 10 to the sixth power is easier to write and plug into a formula. Uh, and once you have all your numbers plugged in, it's just division and multiplication. Divide 0 0.0417 by 120, we end up with 0 0.00347. This is one of those situations where you need to go out uh, to more than just two or three decimal places. You know, take it all the way out to at least five decimal places. I've got it out to six here. You could have rounded that to 0 .00035 if you'd wanted to, and it's you're going to be fine if you want to round to five decimal places. Uh, but that multiplied times 10 to the sixth, and there is the airflow volume in cubic feet per minute we need to maintain or to achieve 120 parts per million of Freon in this space. Again, to maintain the concentration at Freon's TOV of 120 parts per million, we need 347.2 cubic feet per minute of fresh air flowing into the area. And that's it. Pretty simple. Let me know if you have any questions. I will see you next time.